Hello, Flow Baseball fans. Welcome to this week's episode of Behind the Bases. Today, I'll be talking to Evan Fox, infielder and outfielder on the Stony Brook Seawolves. So the first question I have for you, Evan, is what exactly is a seawolf? <laughs> uh, so yeah, so the saying, what is a seawolf? Uh, I'm a seawolf. That's what we come back with. Uh, everybody on, on campus says that. So yeah. So you don't know? It's just your mascot I mean, and it's... A sea wolf, I guess it's like, it's just a wolf that lives in the sea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly what it sounds like. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, so I see you were the Stony Brook Athletics Junior Athlete of the Year last year. So first off, congratulations. How rewarding was that award for you? That was, yeah, it was, it was awesome to, uh, to get that reward. Um, yeah. Uh, I just I just said reward, but I meant award. Uh, so yeah, it was good though. Um, yeah, it meant a lot. Um, I mean, like my, my teammates and my coaches helped me a lot along the way uh, last year, so it, it meant a lot. Cool. I see that you had the most stolen bases in a single season by a Stony Brook baseball player last season. What is your strategy when it comes to stealing bases? I don't know. I guess it's just always been uh, been something that that I've been good at my speed. Uh, so I, I kind of take that into uh into the games and use it to my advantage and i think um being a good uh base runner and base stealer is, is a huge part of my game and, and it helps the team win so i would say yeah I just, my reaction time is good my speed is good so are there any things that you do like to read the defense as you know you're in a game or do not want to give away your secrets but tell me as much as you can because i'm curious <laughs> um for me personally, I think uh, I, I tend to get a bigger lead uh, than than a lot of other people. So my leads are really big uh, to start, and, and I'm able to get back without getting picked off. Uh, so that's one thing. And then another thing is, is pretty much just as soon as as uh, I see uh, the pitcher's foot go up, I kind of I'm off off the races. So I guess it's something like that, like reaction that I have that that helps me a lot. Okay, you say you have a lot of speed. Is that something natural, or is that something you kind of been working on? Did you do track in high school? Um, how are you so fast? I guess is the question I want to ask. No, I mean, uh, I've always, I've always been really fast, like since since I was really young, and, and it's something that I've always worked on because um, I knew I've had that that advantage uh, to my game, and so using that to my advantage, it's it's helped me a lot along the way, and it's got me to where I am. Nice. Uh, I see every year in college, your batting average has improved. Uh, last year, I think you hit over 300, like 333, I think. Um, so what have you been working on in the off season to continue that? Pretty much just uh, just staying in the group of things, um, going to summer ball and, and getting some at bats, seeing seeing a great competition, great pitching. Um, that all kind of keeps me uh, keeps me in tune for coming into the season. Uh, and then just, just when you get here, uh, Pretty much just working on stuff that that um that I know I need to work on to just make me improve over the over the years. So I've just been doing that and working on a bunch of little things that uh, that'll keep me in check uh, going into the next seasons. Mm -hmm. Next year you're going to be a senior. Uh, what are your goals for next season? Uh, well, my team goal is to uh, I want to make it to the tournament and then hopefully win the tournament and go to the regional. That's that's my team goal. Um, and personally, I think last year I would I would love to get drafted. Um, so so that's that's my main goal. And um, I wanna I wanna shoot for ten home runs this year, and uh, probably another. I wanna get the 40, 40 stolen bases. I think. Okay. Uh, speaking of getting drafted, what MLB team do you root for? Red Sox. Okay. Are you from Chicago, or, or Boston? Wait. Boston, Boston, Boston Red Sox, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, White Sox, Red Sox. <laughs> yeah. I get confused. But that's exciting. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you a few, like, social media questions. Um, what is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Please tell me you listen to Taylor Swift because I've asked so many people this. Taylor Swift. Hmm. I guess the one that's coming to my head is, like, the one where it's, like, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. That's like the only one that's kind of ringing a bell for me. I love how you sang it too. That was great. I didn't really know the words or the song title, so. Well, that that's the song title. We are never getting back together. So you nailed it. Perfect. And then is there a certain like sports idol that you model your game after? I would say uh, at a young age, I kind of, I looked 
I watched Dustin Pedroia a lot. He was like second baseman for the for the Boston Red Sox, and he was always a smaller guy. So I'd kind of try to emulate my game off of him. Uh, and like, and now I kind of see like in the game now, Jose Altuve. He's a short guy with with power. Um, so he's another guy, but I would say Dustin Pedroia as I was growing up and everything. Cool. All right. Well, that was all the questions I had for you, but thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Awesome. Thank you very much.